Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the mathematical Italian Mathematical Olympiad 1991, problem number 2. We want to show that no number of the form a cubed plus 3 times x squared plus a for a uh, for a positive integer a, no, uh, no number of this form is a perfect square. Okay, my hints for you. First of all, consider four times this expression and try to factorize it. And also, pay attention to any co-prime numbers which will appear along the way. So give it a try and I will see you in a minute. Okay, so I hope that you tried to solve it. My solution. Let's take... 4 times a cubed plus 3 times a squared plus a. And let's try to factorize it a little bit. So we can write 4 times a times x squared plus 3 times a plus 1. Okay. And now let's notice that a and this number in parentheses, these numbers are coprime. Notice that a and a squared plus 3a plus 1 are co-prime. Are co-prime. Which means, look, if this number is a square, uh, since these two numbers are co-prime, both of these expressions should be squares as well. So, 4 times a squared plus 3a plus 2 should be a square. a should be a square as well, but we won't use it. But now let's notice that this number, 4a squared plus 12a plus 4, standard trick, I can write it as 4a squared plus 12a plus 9 plus 9 plus uh, minus rather minus 5 and that becomes 2a plus 3 squared minus 5 so this number should be a square okay but uh, so let's write that 2a plus 3 to the second power minus 5 equals k squared, which means that 2a plus 3 squared minus k squared equals 5. So we should have two, uh, two squares which are 5 units apart on the real line. But let's write our squares. So the sequence of squares the sequence of squares, perfect squares, begins with 0, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, and so on. And let's notice that the only two uh, squares, which are 5 units apart, are 4 and 9. Because as we go along this sequence, the distance between primes is increasing. The only place where the distance is 5 is between 4 and 9, which means, which implies that 2a plus 3 should be equal, should be equal plus or minus 3. Okay, which means that a is either 0 or a is minus 3. The case of a equals 0, we are not considering this case because we are dealing with positive integers, positive integers, and minus 3 isn't positive as well, which means that for 
no positive integer a uh, a cubed plus 3 times a squared plus a can be in a perfect square. Which concludes our proof. We wanted to show that and we have demonstrated that. Okay, so thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.